Hey everyone, so this video is going to be me doing just a big watercolor pencil crayon painting. It's an assignment for school, and now that there's online learning, I am going to be home a lot, and um, I thought I would just film this, except to submit it online soon. So all you can see right now is this huge white canvas, but you'll start to kind of see what's going on as I paint more. This will just be like a chatty watercolor video I haven't uh, filmed in a while for personal reasons that I won't go into now because it's kind of a little bit of a downer, but <laughs> we're just going to focus on the painting. So I started off by sketching this on my iPad and I planned out everything. Basically the concept is about neighborhood animals. The theme is glitch, so they're kind of like all glitching on top of each other because as you like walk through neighborhoods you kind of like see this like flurry of different animals just kind of like all over the place and I kind of just wanted to show that sort of idea so I'm wetting the whole paper first I'm not really sure what brand of watercolor this is um, but this isn't like a prim primarily watercolor painting so it doesn't really matter if it's like amazing quality I'm not used to doing things this big, but it's actually pretty small because the background's going to be blank. Um, but I want the background to be nice and warm, so I'm just going to overlay a nice, like, yellowy brownish on everything. When painting really big, it's important to use a big brush. Because otherwise it's going to be super streaky. I don't like it when paper buckles so much, it's just like, crinkly. To see like little hits of color. I have a reference photo beside me, which is my mock-up, my digital mock-up that this is based on. And I traced it on here using a light, a light box and um, I printed it out. I had to tile it in Photoshop so when you print it you have to like cut off edges and tape it together and assemble it because my printer, um, well actually I could have printed it but I just, it's easier to just throw 85 by 11 paper in there because this is 12 by 15 It's a little bit bigger though because I'm going to crop in later. I've been thinking of maybe doing some sort of art challenge in April because I know a lot of people are going to be just kind of at home, bored, wanting to do things. So if you have any ideas for some kind of art challenge we could do in April, like, I don't know if one exists already. There, there must be. I think there's a different art challenge each month, but if you have any ideas that one that like I could start or one I could join in on, let me know what the theme could be. Something just like nice and chill. I think that could be pretty fun. Okay, let's start with the first color. Let's paint the squirrel. He's supposed to be like a nice orange color. I don't know if this is gonna be too bright. Maybe, it's kind of a nice color though. It doesn't need to be all one color also. I think I'm gonna kind of shift the hue as I paint it. That's its front leg. I 
I really like the texture of this paper actually. Okay. I thought I wasn't gonna stick with the colors that I had in the mock-up, but I think I'm just gonna stick with them. Cause I kinda like them. This one has a lot of water, it's better. I actually really do like this paper. It's really nice. I don't know what it is though, I think it's like Fabriano maybe? Fabriano? I'm using um, Shinhan watercolors because I don't know why, I just kind of like using them more than the Schminke ones that I bought. There's just something about them that I just like the way they work a little bit better, depending on what I'm doing. Like if I want something more controlled, I'll use the Shinhan ones because they don't bleed as much. But if I want something more like loose, watercolory, then I will use the Shmike ones. Every time I talk about both those watercolors, I end up mixing up the names. Shinhan, Shmike, they're like very similar names. Okay, so I have like a raccoon, which is a very brownish green. I want to make sure I mix enough color for that. Okay, let's see. I should probably paint over the legs here because they're like overlapping this color, so that would be a good idea. Might have made this too green, but I can always tone it down after. Okay, now we have a brownish bird down here. This looks like Merker, it's really weird. Almost looks like a rainbow. <laughs> this one is more of like a grayish color. It's 
very rainbowy. I think almost like every color is gonna be in this, but in muted forms. Okay, so the possum is a light pinkish color. I don't know if any of these colors will do it, so I'm gonna mix a new. Okay, a light pink. Now I want a slightly darker color to go over the green to paint in the rest of the body. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry. Pencil crayon will fix it a little bit. Need to add the raccoon's mask. Okay, now I'm just adding some pencil crayon on top of everything. Cause I kind of want this to be like mo like primarily a pencil crayon thing. Um, but we'll see. Like I'm gonna be using also gouache. Just some areas need lightening a little bit. Something about this feels a little bit different from my usual style, but I don't think that's a bad thing necessarily. It just feels a little different. I think I need to just get rid of that part. It looks really weird. Almost like a rainbow, like unintentional rainbow. <laughs> Maybe it's time to break up the gouache. I don't really know what this is. I think it's like a second leg. 
I think. Yeah, actually, I think that's what that is. Okay, let's get some gouache happening. Okay, I'm gonna use this palette because I believe this also has gouache on it. Okay. Trying not to overwork it. I think it's good to take a lot of breaks with something if you're afraid of overworking it. Because then you'll realize like, oh I actually don't need to paint this area, it's fine the way it is. Just because you can add more doesn't mean you have to or should add more. I wanted some of this, some of the yellow squirrels to overlap the red squirrel because now it just kind of looks like it's just like in front of the squirrel, but I want it to be like actually intertwined with the line work and stuff. So actually that's not a squirrel, it's supposed to be a more of like a ferret or a mink or something. Not a mink. Yeah, mink, a weasel. to brighten up this bird. I'm gonna use this color. It's kind of watery though. Got some water in it. So I hope you enjoyed seeing me paint this. It was a lot of fun just like playing around with color. I didn't expect it to be so much of a rainbowy thing. Like the colors turned out a lot different than what I originally planned, but I think it kind of works with the theme of sort of like glitch I was going for. I don't know if it's like that successful with the theme, but I tried my best. So I hope you enjoyed seeing me paint this. It was a lot of fun and I'll see you in my next video.